And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Katarina Burn. Uh, finished the stream a little early yesterday with just the two decks because I started not feeling so well. Um, I'm doing better today, but I'm kind of tired. I've just, just rested basically this whole time, so I'm kind of tired. So I just have it planned for three decks today. Hopefully we get through all of those. Um, anyway, this is a a Katarina deck, my first Katarina deck that I've actually played here on stream. This is one of the, the last champions that I got three copies of. So this is going to be our first time trying out Katarina. Playing it in a, a burn style deck with PNZ, uh, where the burn style means that we have burn spells. So we have Get Excited, we have Mystic Shot. Um, those are like our, our burn spells. But then also cards that do direct damage to the enemy Nexus. That's what that's what that means. So like Legion Grenadier, Le um, Boom Crew Rookie, even Legion Saboteur. So we have ways to do direct damage. Um, I'm, I'm adding in like the Legion Drummer... Trifarian Glory Seeker package, seeing if we can get some removal for some bigger stuff with like that combo. Um, and then, you know, like our, our curve is really low. We got three one drops, uh, a whole bunch of two drops, you know, and then barely anything that costs three or four mana, just two cards that cost three mana with Katarina and get excited, and just two cards that cost four with Jinx and Crowd Favorites. And the new crowd favorite with now only one toughness. We'll see how that goes. Um, and then, uh, you know, of course, Jinx, because Jinx is amazing. So, yeah, going to go ahead and try this version of uh, Katarina and see how it plays. Um, yeah, that's that's about it. So, here we go. Katarina Burn. We're going to go on over to rank. And play some matches. Then, yeah, the Katarina Burn and the Frozen Challengers were the two we didn't quite get to yesterday. And then I was just going to try Karma Thresh Control again. Um, last time that we played that, it went awesome. But that was before, that was right before the new patch with Rekindler now costing seven instead of six. So kind of seeing how that deck still plays out. We'll get rid of our four drop and even just this thermogenic beam for now. I'll keep these two twos. Transfusion can help keep our Katarina alive against the removal spell or Jinx. Um, I have my that's its main goal. Everything's in place. True Felyorian welcome. We march as one, an unstoppable force. To victory! Ooh. I'll protect the villages. Huh. Sounds like they have... Yeah, Static Shock. That's all right. So they tap out, then we'll play Katarina. If not, I'll wait till next turn to be able to play Katarina with Transfusion to protect. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna wait. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure there's something to replace the, the Thresh with. I mean, I I don't know off the top of my head 
I would kind of look at your spooky karma deck, see like if there's any card in that deck that's what's in your spooky karma deck that's not in the the, the thresh version um and you know maybe a card that you like and, and that you can replace the thresh with i'd have to like look at the list and stuff I'd, i don't know what that is off the top of my head Let's look at transfusion doing work Oh, I meant to challenge her. Whoops. Look out for Reavers. Ready the torches. Oh, still blocked that thing anyway. Look out for Reavers. Alert the villains. Light the signal fires. I have a whole bunch of one toughness creatures. So obviously Static Shock would be the worst possible thing for us to see. So obviously they have Static Shock. Victory requires a sharp blade. How about another round? Hope we get to just do the six damage here, put them down to two. We have to get excited. to their blocker. And of course we're casting the Jinx one so we could get to shuffle the Jinx back into the deck. And a third Static Shock being a, a third three for one. Everyone goes that hurts. Forces them to use like a harsh winds, something like that. They can't just play like an ice. I don't want them to be able to play an ice veil archer. It's their second one of those. They can't have that many of them left. Down to three. Hopefully, hopefully this works. I'm so good. 
good, I surprise myself. I thought you'd never ask. Awesome. Alright, starting off the day with a win. GG's. So our deck looks pretty good there, even with all those static shocks, getting all those three for ones. But it seemed like a, a pretty decent matchup just kind of in general for us. I don't know. Let's see how this keeps going. So we got Hecarim Elise Darius. Honestly, seems like a pretty, pretty okay hand. It's one I'm fine with. Reporting in. Of course, I'm ready. I know what lurks in the shadows. How do I deal with this? Legion Marauder is going to be annoying. Transfusion changed my plan. I think I was just going to play the Jinx. Ouch. 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 That really hurt. Nine damage. All right, maybe I just block here.
Gosh, this would be bad if they have if they have Whirling Death. I know that they have a Demos or they have I know they have a Noxus card in hand. Victory requires a sharp blade. Yes, you and me, fish bones. And them. Yeah, they gotta have whirling blades and stuff like that. They just just pass. I'll cut them I guess I should have attacked with these things too. Yeah, I should have attacked with these things too. Or maybe I just played this way too scared. That's a possibility too. Yeah, it's a possibility too. All right, lesson learned. Play that way too scared. Other option would have been, you know, if I would have just gone straight to attacks like I was thinking, then I would have been able to bounce the Katarina, replay Katarina, get another attack step. I guess I should have just done all of that. Played against Karma Thresh. Won't get past me. I'll do better this time. I wish we could go back to that that spot and then just play the other way and, and see what would happen. But, you know, I just wasn't really expecting Darius Atrocity. Just not, was not something that was really on my radar, unfortunately. First big mission. My axe. The dark beckons. <laughs> Don't mind me. It's too late for you. All right, down to twelve. They have three more cards than I have in hand, but we got the two in play. I'm gonna Mystic Shot my own thing so they don't get to gain the three life. They basically turn the Mystic Shot into doing three damage. All right, this thing's only attacking for two. I was kind of counting as this thing attacking for three, that we'd attack for three, six, and then have the transfusion for seven, eight, and so on, like if they had removal. 
Or if they had like, they're gonna play like a thresh to block, but wow, that all just happened. All that damage came through. Wow. Yeah, they're they're very dead. GG's two and one. Basically, we have to just make sure that we don't like play this stuff, and then they play things that gain life in response. Five, four, three. Win this, then we'll go to four, three, two, and then three, two, one, and then two, one, zero. One, zero, nine. And to zero, nine, one. Oh, right now it would be zero, nine, or it'd be zero, eight, nine. Probably not how the ranking up system works, though. So my biggest problem with Mystic Shot is that it does not kill Elise. But I, in this Elise matchup, I want to be able to kill Elise. And the problem with playing a one drop is that then turn two thermogenic beam doesn't kill Elise either. You need to not play a one drop for a thermogenic beam to kill Elise on turn two. Waiting for the karma control. We did real well with that deck the other day. It is. Um, so I wanted to bring that one back. Darn it. Why do they have to have a lease? At least we got the, the Legion Grenadier. I guess that thing actually blocks. In my mind, I was thinking that thing didn't block. Because <clears throat> card rarely, that type of card rarely blocks. It's not bad. Do I want to play Katarina right now and flip Katarina immediately, or Glory Seeker? Eat that. Let's go Glory Seeker, because the problem with playing Katarina is that then they could have Frenzied Skitter. They would turn Katarina into a 2 2, and then I would be feeling pretty bad. This, so they play Frenzied Skitter. It's not too bad.
My opponent has been playing so slowly. Ugh. Killing me. So I didn't block their 2-1 before because I wanted them to have this to be able to try to check Elise. Now they don't have an Elise. I think maybe I should block with this Grenadier. And you know now I have like removal for another Elise. Let the bloodshed begin. I know what lurks in the shadows. Oh man, they're playing so slow. Must be like double queuing or something. Playing on like two accounts, two monitors. Switching back and forth. check back in in another minute see what they want to do no one gets in my way I got six mana. It's kind of awkward. I want to play. There's like seven mana worth of spells I want to play with either a Jinx or Katarina and to get excited. I also just try to get a lot of attack steps with like these precious pets and everything. Come on, take it. Sweet. And then we can finish them out with Get Excited. Yeah, 
in a few minutes. Stay tuned. Will the opponent make a play? This is the slowest five turns I've ever had in this game. Well, I hope everybody's day is going pretty good in chat. Smooth as silk. This is ridiculous. I don't know why my opponent joined the queue if they're going to be doing something else. Oh, dang, Blade. Yeah, that is rough. I'm sorry to hear that. Fine piece getting your roof redone. Okay. Good time to get that done. And then, yeah, getting your laundry done. That's something that I haven't done in a while is laundry that I need to do here in the next couple of days. Need to do laundry. And I'm not looking forward to it. Where did you work before, Blade? You said that it's now closed until further notice. What? What kind of place was it? TK Maxx at retail. Okay. Yeah. Um, you know, if you're looking for, for, yeah, those are rough times. If you're looking for some kind of job, I know, um, Matthew in the chat here the other day was saying that, you know, Am Amazon's hiring, trying to hire a lot more people and, uh, cause of all the, everybody's just ordering stuff offline these days. And so, you know, whatever is, you know, similar kind of thing in the UK, you know, I've, I've, you know, Amazon or anything else like that, maybe like a warehouse thing even if you get something like part-time just uh you know move some boxes around and that could be something to look for you won't get past me Gotta learn to code. Okay, Uber Eats is, is real busy. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, I could see that. I keep step with 
Well, that was pretty rough, them having those two removal spells. Show them the might right then. So obviously, right now, I, I just don't have either the mana or the creatures for these transfusions. That was a really good hand for them. I really want to protect Katarina with the transfusion. What if I don't attack? What if I pass back? That's probably bad. Sounds like that'd probably be bad. Just gonna look in here. Better run. I don't know. I could have just pass and they would have wasted all that mana. You don't get our dex concept? We're trying to, we're just an aggro deck trying to do as much damage as possible to the opponent. Easy as that. Nothing special. Just have a lot of direct damage stuff with like our burn spells that can do damage to them and like these attacks can do direct damage to them. We get extra attacks with the Katarina. Because of the with the bile fees, they didn't make a one-one spiraling. They get to block with. But Katarina's pretty awesome. Darn. Oh. 
One more mana. Could have that crowd favorite also. I don't know. There's such a spell heavy deck. I should probably just be emptying my hand. Ah, Did make them use a six mana vengeance on that two one. That's kind of cool. It's weird to play the crowd favorite first, but we just have to because I really want Jinx to be to be flipped. I want it to be a five four. They don't want them to be able to use a Get Excited or a Thermogenic Beam to kill Jinx, Jinx? first. Dance for Jinx? Now they probably don't have anything that costs three that does four. So we should be able to untap with Jinx. Now it's a party. It's like we're in the tough part of like we of like against ruination. You don't really want to overextend into ruination, but you do want to empty your hand with Jinx and get these super mega death rockets. So it's we're in kind of a tough thing there. It does kind of feel like they have ruination because they haven't been playing this grenadier like they had the opportunity to previously. Well, now we don't. Now we know they don't have. So that's good. And I don't think I just pass and wait for them to play the 3-1 and then cast this, because they're not going to cast the 3-1 into this. Um, they would probably just, you know, like, we'd risk passing back. It's just take the 4 damage. That Katarina really did a great job of getting us ahead, though. You know, like the transfusion to save Katarina was, was really important. So they only have three cards in hand that we don't know about. Like, Legion Grenadier doesn't do anything to help. Mushroom Clouds doesn't do anything to help. We don't know what these three cards are. If I would have played that pre-combat, we would have killed the 1-1, one, one, but then they would have just played this other thing to block with. All right, that thing is ephemeral. That's right. So I just have one card in hand now. No, I should let. I need to let this resolve first. Basically, I was scared of. So the thing that I was scared of is that they they could have a grasp the undying and and you know drain three from a unit and gain three life in response to my deal to 
I should let that happen first. But it turned out they didn't have that. Um, yeah, I mean, I think, I think probably discard burn and Katarina burn are both pretty similar. Um, you know, we're only, we're five, five games in with this deck and I've, I've liked how it's played so far. I'm definitely getting rid of the removal spells. I'm not sure if, like transfusion no, against this version. No, we'll get rid of that too. Right. Ooh, this could be really good. I have my order. Hey, Forks. Yeah, I'm not ready to just declare that this deck is better than... Victory requires a sharp um, lane. Better than Discard Burn. But I've been, been very happy with how it's been playing. Playing this 5-1 puts a lot of pressure on them because the ideal start for this Heimerdinger Lux deck is turn three playing the six mana spell that's what they want to do so they don't want to play anything this turn but this is saying all right well if you don't play anything this turn you're taking seven damage the problem though with my play so they did play something the problem though with my play is i don't want to trade this five one for that because we have the legion drummer and everything so now i only get to attack with this But now they don't get to do the the turn three play a six mana spell and turn the rest of their deck into being better than what it was previously. <clears throat> oh, come on. That's really unfortunate. Well, I felt really good about this game before Static Shock, then Double Mystic Shot. Won't get past me. All magic is dangerous. So too are mages. Remember me. All right, well, this, this game has gone very poorly for me. I don't think we can win anymore. We'll see. I mean, I don't. I guess maybe Jinx. But. Order, entropy, a never-ending cycle. I ended up getting nothing out of that awesome combo of the. 
first attacker, the quick attack, and... The lines I had were pretty sound, but my the cards my opponent had really busted them up and now could have taken different lines that would have ended up being better against what they had. I can do this. I don't know why I should just attack with Jinx right away, shouldn't I? Coming in right? hot. Just a moment. I am very dead. We'll save Demacia from magic. Demacia doesn't need saving. So I. I, like I said, I, I feel like I had good reasons for the, the lines that I was taking. They just, they really did have the cards that punished the lines that I had took. There's a little bit of tension between Katarina and Jinx. How Katarina goes back to your hand makes it more difficult to empty your hand for Jinx. So that's a, a little bit of tension between the two cards that you need to work around. Hey Pools, I'm, I'm feeling better than yesterday, but, but pretty... I'm kind of feeling low energy, you know, like I... I basically just you know, I went to bed early and slept in and and just um, but it, it stormed real hard here during the night so I didn't get like a lot of sleep during the night it stormed real hard um, So yeah, kind of feeling low energy today, but not not feeling as as like sick as I felt yesterday. You know, like I'd, how I felt like real, you know, hot and kind of feverish and stuff. Never. Feeling better in that respect. Noxus. Violence 
solves everything. I don't usually, no, I don't re usually drink hot stuff. I basically just drink water. Yeah, it hit me real fast last night. Faster than my arrow? I think not. So I'm, so I'm already planning on just playing the three decks today instead of doing four decks. So I'm not planning on having a, a long seven hour stream. Many tribes under one you know, so taking it, taking it a little easy in that respect. First big mission. Today we fight as one. No going back. Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. <laughs> yeah, I just gotta play the Karma Thresh today. Well, I could do that deck second instead of the Frozen Challengers. Um... Because that deck is. That's a very. That's probably the slowest deck in all of Legends of Runeterra, honestly. If it probably is like the decks, the games are really long. Golden chest, <laughs> extra copies. Golden chest of shards. Yeah, Katarina Byrne go doing good. Five and two. All right, yeah, you want me to play the play that one second? Cool, cool. Raven Ezreal. Kind of like everything we have in hand, how Get Excited kills Draven and, and Ezreal. I'm not sure. Like, the transfusion can be good. Like, it can be really good. It could also be unnecessary. If it's, like, unnecessary, we could discard it to the Get Excited. But... I guess I should be a little worried about not having as many units and not having any champions. So maybe that's like a reason just to mulligan the transfusion, see if we hit a champion or another unit. Okay, put together Karma Ash with the seven mana Winter's Breath. Karma Ash. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, that sounds pretty sweet. Victory requires a sharp blade. Come on, back door. So I'm pretty sure my opponent wanted to play Draven or but by Never 
You know, by just passing, we made them waste their mana. I know I didn't get, like, my two damage in. I would have only attacked with the Precious Pet anyway. So I wanted to have protection for Katarina, but honestly, maybe I should should have just waited another turn and played Katarina on my turn where, when I could have had double protection for Katarina. Good sign. Yeah, that's a good sign. Playing against a lot of the Frozen Spider decks last night, okay. No one gets in my way. Fools was playing the Karma Ash deck. Or playing a, a Karma Ash deck. I'm not sure if I've played a Karma Ash deck. Get him. Go get him, cat. Flame. All right, so we got leveled up Jinx. But again, you know, Katarina going back to our hand does make it more difficult to empty our hand with with Jinx. Huh. It got lots of cards over there. Eight cards. We have a Katarina and a Jinx. They're both leveled up. They got eight cards. So we'll see. What is better? Those were not good cards to draw. As far as good cards to draw go, those were not them. Yeah, Legends of Runeterra is an awesome game here on Quiet Slumbers, if you haven't checked it out. I wrote it a few weeks ago, why I think it's a better game than Magic. In a tough spot. Put on 
me mask. Secure me tail. Start the day. I salute you. So yeah, I think if I would have played Katarina, they would have uh, done that. They would have Mystic Shot my Katarina and then use that other spell they had. The, the spell to kill a damaged unit. I got so many cards over there. My best draw right now is Jinx after they killed my other Jinx. Trying another one would be nice. It's Draven time. This is a pretty cool deck though, you know, playing Draven Control. That is pretty unique and and awesome. I haven't played this Draven Ezreal deck yet, but I, I should. I've really been impressed with impressed with it every time I play against it. Let the blood Let's boogie. So I played the wrong Katarina. I forgot how this game tracks. Like, so they know about this Katarina in hand. So I should have played this one that they knew about. Hey, buddy, what you doing? Come out and play. Why do they just get an Ezreal thing there? They didn't even do anything. They just drew a card. Never. Ezreal finishes us off. Hey, Elvis. All right, so five and three. I think that's all. Okay, I've, I've only played against that deck a couple of times, but it's impressed me every time I've played against him. It's only been two or three times, though. A lot of Ezreal today. Which I don't really like. I mean, Ezreal's not really a, a very fun. Champion to play against. I have. 
have my orders. That's all right. In position. Behind you. Static Shock is just a card that's great against us. We've played against a whole lot of Static Shock today. That's why I mulligan the, that other one drop is uh, the Precious Pet the first time we drew another one. Cause, but because of Static Shock, that's why I got rid of that. An unstoppable force. Just pass turn. Let me untap and have transfusion. Thank you. To victory. Probably not worth using transfusion because all we're doing is just killing one creature to save another. Please just don't have static shock. I just have drawn more one toughness creatures. So they can also have Withering Whale. So yeah, they're a Static Shock plus Withering Whale deck. Those are both very rough cards against me. Oh my gosh, I just, that transfusion play was so bad. I just had that creature, to, I didn't even, oh man. That was so bad. That was really bad. Because obviously I had these those two ones that were dying also. I should have just killed one of those with the transfusion. Then I would have had my 3-2 would have traded with their 4-3. Yeah. Oh, it's not over. Basically need to draw another Jinx. That would be my best draw. Katarina would not have been bad either though. Now that's really rough. Now it's going to be really difficult to fight through all those cards. I thought you'd never ask.
His crowd favorites looked really bad. It, it has not looked good. It has been the worst card in our deck. I can say that. I have, like, what, the two of them? What would I want to replace them with? They have always looked bad. Is there any other way to save our creatures? No. What about Crimson Disciples? Crimson Disciples or Arena Battlecasters. I, I don't think my deck really wants the four mana cards. I'm going to try Crimson Disciples. Don't think we want those. Or toughness. So much. Honestly, maybe I should just play two. What if instead of those Crimson Disciples and instead of. Who does not know the name of Raw? You know, basically, instead of the. What's the card? Crowd Favorite. Instead of the Crowd Favorite. What if I just played two. Chump Wumps. The four mana, four three. Honestly, I think that's the that's the card to play. Because I just don't have extra cards ever to discard to these Get excited. I never have extra cards to discard to those. Honestly, I think that's the card. That Yeah, that's the card that we should just be playing. It's just playing Chump Womp. Yeah, we have been drawing so many get excited, and we never have anything to discard to them. They have, they haven't looked the best. They're like a like a car that want to draw the late game. It's possible that I shouldn't be playing three of them. That we should cut that down to two. Um. Well, we st started off good. Started off good. Didn't end. Didn't end very good. But it started off good.
Because, yeah, Chump Wump's the kind of card that... Um, it, like, it doesn't help us... Like, it's not a good card to empty your hand with Jinx. It's, you know, like, try to empty your hand with Jinx. Chump Wump isn't a great card for that purpose. Um, but also just giving my opponent Mushroom Clouds, like, with this kind of deck... Mushroom Clouds are actually, you know, have more of a value because we can get their life total down so low. Um, you know, so I have to say, I was I was very happy with the Katarina. The Katarina played very well. I liked it. If you play Draven, you just change the deck up completely. You, I would not just play Draven in this deck. I would, I would, you know, change the deck up completely and make it much more discard focused with playing Draven. I wouldn't just play like one Draven over a Katarina. The champions were good. Like they were, the champions were our best cards, definitely. The problems are when we don't have the champions or they kill the champion right away. And I think Chump Lump can kind of help those games, the, the games that we don't have the champions or they kill our champions right away. The, the crowd favorite, without playing um without playing house spider and really focusing on going wide with with like house spider the, the crowd favorite wasn't as good yeah i think i think trump would be good you know even just giving them 10 poison pup caps and then the poison pup caps actually help turn on our get excited which we could never turn on i like that Okay. Um, so there we go. So there's uh, there's Katarina Burn. Definitely started off very good and then cooled down. Um, I'm going to change the deckless command to have the Chump Wumps instead of the crowd favorites. Even though that wasn't the deck that I played, but that's the deck that I um, recommend after afterwards all right um so those of y'all watching on youtube you know i really hope you hit that like button over there and leave a comment both of those would really help um yeah let me know what you think of the deck and and all that kind of stuff so those last games like that we were losing you know we had a lot of legion saboteur and precious pet a lot of one toughness things and my opponents having a lot of one toughness removal um, that was pretty rough, and then we had a lot of good exciteds that we didn't really get to use. Um, and even, you know, Glory Seeker also being that one toughness that hurt. Uh, no, there's not a, a draw a champ or revive a champ in this in these regions. No, all right. Uh, so there we go. That's Katarina Burn. All right. So those of y'all watch on, on YouTube, I already did all that spiel <laughs> anyway. Uh, we'll move on to the next deck. Thanks for watching, Katarina Byrne. I'll see you for the next video.